Now the praise that these are getting is kind of crazy, y'all. I recently went to an event and I got people's opinions on whether the Jordan 4 Military Blues is the sneak of the year or is it the Jordan 4 Bravery of Matches. A lot of people picked, I'm going to let y'all know what they picked here somewhere in the video, but I don't know if their opinions will change once they find out something that they're doing with these Jordan 4 Military Blues. It's going to be a deal breaker for many, y'all. Let's talk about YouTube, fam. Uh, man, what's good? We back, y'all. We back from a one day hiatus. Yeah, sometimes you gotta clear, you gotta clear your thoughts, you gotta clear your mind, you gotta free your mind. You feel what I'm saying, man? But I am back, man. I can't leave y'all for too long, man. What's good with y'all, man? If y'all, if y'all happy to to see me like I'm happy to see y'all back in here, man. Hit that thumbs up, man. Go crazy, y'all. Your boy Jay has got some news for y'all, man, and this might be a deal breaker for a lot because it's a lot of picky people out here in the sneaker community you know we got to call it what it is man so i don't know man this might change a lot of people's thoughts on this up upcoming in particular shoe y'all so hey y'all stick around stay tuned watch the full video because i got some stuff to tell y'all but outside of that man if this is your first time stopping through hey man what's good glad to have you i appreciate you pulling up and rocking out with the fam man i would love for you to be a part of the fam man hit that subscribe button join the family and if you do hit the subscribe button and become a member Make sure you comment down below. Let me know that you are new so I can acknowledge you and leave a comment, a personalized comment, you know what I'm saying, letting you know that I appreciate you and welcoming you into the family, man. But yes, man, today is Tuesday. Things are about to start heating up. Um, I recently did a This Week in Sneakers video. If you guys check out that video, I pretty much showed you guys uh, almost everything that's going on this week outside of one special thing y'all we will be seeing the Jordan 1 trophy room so at the time that I made that video that shoe was not up on the sneakers app yet man but it is officially up on the sneakers app BAM right there man you see it so I guess this is a little sneakers weekend sneakers I guess we can we can add right here real quick because this is a crucial piece right here man so this Thursday for everyone, including myself, who took an L on the Jordan 1 Trophy Room lows, we do have... Do I even want to call it a chance, man? I don't, I don't even know if I want to call it a chance, you know what I'm saying? But we do have a chance at securing a pair for retail via the Sneakers app, man. So Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, they will be launching on the Sneakers app, man. Good luck. Good luck to everyone trying to get their hands on them. I'm going to need that good luck as well, man. Hey, thumbs it up, bro. Thumbs it up for the good luck. Let me know that you are trying to go after them. If you are, comment down below. I need to know how many people are trying to go after these trophy room or lows. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that. That's happening. And outside of that, y'all, I did go to L.A., man. I was in L.A. over the weekend. Had a ball, man. Shout out to L.A. Beautiful city. Like, nothing but love, man. A lot of people came up to me and vibed out with me. And while I was there, I did get me some, you know, I picked some people's brains i picked some people's brains on what upcoming shoe that they were looking forward to as well as i asked what i call the million dollar question you know what i'm saying i mean not literally it's a hundred dollar question really if we be being technical but that ain't here though man look i asked everyone what is their current jordan 4 of the year man is it the jordan 4 reimagined breads or is it the jordan 4 industrial Military blues, you know what I'm saying? I asked them their thoughts on that, and I was shocked, y'all. I was kind of shocked by their answers. It seems like the majority, the majority of people are feeling the military blues. However, however, during that questionnaire, I had a GS pair of military blues, and I had a men's pair of Jordan 4 bread reimagined. So, one GS, one men's shoe, and I ain't gonna hold y'all. That might make a world of difference. Let me tell y'all why. Bang! So check this out, y'all. I know some people who officially have men's pairs of the Jordan 4 Military Blue Industrial. What? I'm gonna call it military. Oh, geez, no. Military blues, right? They have men's pairs of military blues. They also have GS pairs of military blues, y'all. So. I can say this, and like I said, a lot of people don't know this. It was brought to my attention when I seen them. Um, there's one big thing on the men's pairs of Jordan 4 Military Blues that 
is a lot different from the GS pairs, man. So I'm gonna point out a couple things and let y'all know what it is. And you guys let me know your thoughts and feedback on the change in the two shoes. So first of all, I do wanna talk about the outsole, the bottom of the shoes. A lot of people questioned, they was like, yo, why does the bottom of your shoe got a jump man, etc., bro? They ain't real. They fake, they yada yada. I told y'all at the beginning of the video, it was a GS pair, man. If you, look, man, if you know your boy Jay, you ain't even got to question nothing going down over here, but it obviously had to be somebody new. But like I was saying, y'all, the GS pair right here, as you can see, has that small baby jump man on the bottom. That is only for GS and below. So, Adult sizes, men's sizes, will have Nike Air on the bottom, y'all. So, GS pairs will have the Jumpman, the baby Jumpman. Adult sizes will have Nike Air, y'all. So, Jumpman, Nike Air, Jumpman, Nike Air. You get it, right? You get it. So, that is one thing. That's a very small factor. I mean, who's who's holding up their shoe like this? Who's kicking their shoe up in the air? Look at my Jumpman. Do it look like a foot? Look at my jump, man. Anyways, y'all get that point, but that is just nothing, right? So the big, big issue that I feel like a lot of people will nitpick and be like, bro, that's trash. Why did they do that? Because I felt the same way. I'm still copping. I'm still doubling up, you know what I'm saying? But a big thing that they changed from the GS sizes to the men's sizes is a particular color of the shoe y'all and yes y'all can be a big deal breaker man so on the gs pairs as you can see right here man gs pair jordan 4 industrial military blues whatever you want to call them as you can see a lot of people i mean new people i guess or people who may not have been informed of uh, the front half of the shoe where you do have this nice soft new buck area which is a light gray light gray tint going around the toe cap area and uh it is not the same when it comes to adult pairs, man. So I don't have an official picture. Maybe I can get a picture. I might try to scrape up a picture by the time this video gets edited. So it might be on the screen, or if it's not on the screen, I just use a picture from StockX. Or I might use both if I have them. But let me show you guys the comparison between the color of this front area on a GS pair compared to a men's pair. So taking a look at it right there, y'all. So on the top, we do have the men's pair. On the bottom, we do have the GS pair. Hopefully, like I said, I can get a picture of both of them side by side so you can really see the difference in color on this front area. Like, hey, why did Nike and Jordan brand do that? This is one of the first times I have seen they have changed the whole complete color of a material on a shoe when it comes to the adult and children's size. Not to say it's the first time it's happened, but on a shoe such as this, which is a crucial shoe, we have wanted it for years, they totally changed the color tone of this front area, man. So it looks like it is. I, I don't know. I was asking my guy. I was like, is that is that like a, a, a color discoloration in your camera? He was like, no, these are how they look in hand, man. So it has a way darker tint, a way darker tone to it than that of, you know, the GS pairs. It is a very soft gray. It definitely looks like it's a real deeper defined. Is that even gray? It kind of looks like it's like a, a tan, a cream. I, I, I really can't tell what color that is, y'all. But I can definitely tell the difference in between that color on an adult pair and the color on a GS pair, man. Even if you go on your app such as StockX, y'all. Like I said, I showed y'all pictures from StockX. You can see that they do have the shade of one pair a lot darker than they do have of that of the GS, man. So... Is that a deal breaker, man? Like I said, I know a lot of people are picky about how their shoes are. OG heads, man, if you are looking forward to these and you was like, man, we getting them back, OGs, this, that, and the third, man, it might make a couple people disappointed, man, because that is that is a big change, man, and um, it might throw off the whole look of the shoe. I'm still waiting on getting my men's pair in hand so I can do an official, official GS versus adult size comparison, but that is a big, big thing if you ask your boy Jay, man. So comment down below. How do you feel about this color change? Like I said, um, I'm just showing you guys pictures, but I mean, we can tell y'all, even if it's not 100% accurate, we can tell some way, shape or form, there is some sort of color change in between the men's and GS pairs, man. Why would Jordan Brand do this, man? And um, you know, why would you do it on a shoe that so many of us have wanted for so long, man? You gave us the Nike Air on the back, y'all. You gave us the Nike Air on the back. You gave us the military blues, but what did you do to the men's sizes, y'all? 
But um, yes, I wanted to point that out to y'all because I don't think anyone has brought that up. But I, I gotta be the first to let y'all know, man. Do not get your hopes up about them because, like I was telling y'all, a lot of people at that event, you know what I'm saying, they was picking, hey. But yeah, man, majority, a majority of everyone at the event, y'all. I didn't even add everyone into that clip because I had to make a short reel. I couldn't put as much people in there as I wanted to, but a majority were picking military blues over the Jordan 4 bread reimagines. And like I said, man, will it be a deal breaker? Once we see the men's sizes compared to the men's sizes of the bread 4 reimagines, will their minds change? Once they see that official color on them, will they be like, bruh? Like, because I felt like if I had a men's pair at the event, they would look at this color and they'd be like, yo, why does it look like that? Like, is it, is this a real pair? Is something off with the pair? They would question that pair because of the color tone that Nike and Jordan ran put on the military blues, man. But, hey, I think that that is the game changer right there. That can kick a shoe out of potential Jordan 40 year category because of just, like I said, man, the way that they messed them up. But on this situation, man, and um, I do have some content from that event that I was at. I might drop it for y'all tomorrow. I might hit y'all with a double upload because I didn't hit y'all with a video yesterday, man. So tap in. Let me know if you guys want me to hit y'all with a double upload. Thumbs it up, man. Go crazy on the thumbs up. Let me know if y'all want that. And uh, I'll put in the extra work and give y'all an extra video or I might just skip the whole day and all, man. But based on what y'all let me know, hey, I'll do that. But uh, appreciate y'all as always. And um, thank y'all for rocking out. I got y'all feedback down below. I'm ready to hear what y'all are saying. I will be responding back to those comments, but I don't know, man. Is it a deal breaker, y'all? Why didn't they just, man, why didn't they? What's wrong with this? What's, but it is what it is, man. But uh, y'all let me know what your Jordan 40 year is too, man, as well. I did a poll on my Instagram. That is the results. So real quick before we leave, I had to show y'all. That's the results of what the people were saying on IG, man. So on IG, I, I, Military Blue still got the edge, but like I said, we gonna see if those thoughts change. I'm gonna revisit that questionnaire once the men's pairs get out and you officially see the color that they do put on the front of this shoe, man. But uh, that is it, I'm gone. I will see y'all, I'll enjoy the rest of y'all week. Good luck tomorrow. We do have shoes releasing, starting off tomorrow. Bang, Jordan 14, Flint Grays, and we do have the Nike Dunk releases. Forgot the name of them, but we got both those dropping tomorrow, man. So we starting off the week hot, but let me know what y'all are copping. Let me know y'all thoughts on this video. I will be back at y'all. Y'all stay blessed. I'm up out of here. Yo, feels good to be back.